Hi everyone, in this position it is white to play and win. Pause the video if you want to try and solve it. Okay, we've all heard the pawn values that our pieces have. A queen is worth 9 pawns, a rook is worth 5, bishop and knight are 3 each, and a pawn is 1. But that's just the general rule. The true value of each of our pieces on the board is determined by their mobility, and mobility is simply the activity of our pieces. In other words, the number of squares they can occupy and how important those squares are. I have for you a puzzle that demonstrates the potential for tactics that can come out of certain positions that don't look like they have much going on. In such positions, improving the mobility of one of our pieces can be the key. In this position, we don't want to go down and exchange by blocking with our rook, so we play the only other move, king b2. We can see that our king is now attacking the black bishop. Black is going to play rook e3 to protect that bishop, but let's look at the alternatives. One alternative is bishop e6. Here we have a way of winning the rook after rook d8 check, king b7, rook takes a8, king takes a8, and then we play a discovered attack on black's e1 rook with rook d8 check. And after the king moves, we will capture black's e1 rook. Now let's look at the other alternative that black has. The other alternative is bishop a4. Once again, the same discovered attack idea works with this move as well. Rook d8 check, king b7, rook takes a8, king takes a8, rook d8 check, and we will capture the e1 rook with our bishop. Now let's look at black's best reply. Rook e3, protecting the bishop. But it's the only piece that protects that bishop. Here, we are able to play a very interesting maneuver. Rook d8 check, king b7. This is black's only move. Rook takes a8. Now black has to take unless he wants to just let us keep a free rook. So king takes a8. Now we need to clear the way for our bishop to move to a square where it attacks the rook. So we play rook d8 check, king b7, and if you did not see it before, I'm sure you can see it now, we play bishop d2 attacking the rook. This move demonstrates how a bishop can overpower the rook, albeit with some help. The black rook has no squares which allow it to defend the bishop. The c3 square is covered by our king and bishop, d3 is covered by our rook, and e3 is covered by our bishop. The black rook has to move out of the way. Rook e5, and we happily take black's bishop. King takes b3. Black will now go on to capture our b5 pawn, but we will have plenty of material to go on and win this game. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.